Right, ladies and gents, it is fair to say there are many crowd pullers here at Agritechnica 2023, not least the brand new KSIH quad track. So much so that they're actually, they are literally queuing around the machine to actually get in it and have a look in the, uh, in the new cab on this, uh, on this machine. So, to talk us through the new quad track, we have got Mr. Ross McDonald, you've seen him many times in several other videos before. So, <laughs> Ross, I mean, it's got a bonnet that you can play a team sport on the top of it, I think. It it's, does uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a presence, put it that way. So, yeah, give us some, give us some details on this new quad track. Um, so, obviously, yeah, welcome to the KSH stand uh, here today. Um, this, as you said, is probably the big uh, crowd puller. Um, first public launch here. Um, we had a bit of a press event a couple of months ago, so there's been some snippets yeah. talked about. Um, but this is our, our first launch, so I guess, as you've said, the styling, we've seen some pictures on the internet for quite a while um, of what the new styling might well look like. Yeah. Um, and here it is, 715. Um, so as we do in Case IH, that is our rated horsepower. You will definitely get that um, horsepower. But uh, <laughs> yeah. We're up to uh, we're up to about 778 max on which, this model. Uh, on this model. Right. So this is the top model. This is the flagship model. Yep. This is the largest uh, largest powered production tractor in the world. This one. That's uh, that's a fair so, old accolade, you might say. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll we'll mooch around it. We'll have a little. We'll try and walk around it as much <laughs> as we can, boys and girls. We've, so um, yeah, under as you said, the enormous hood which um, there's some buttons around the corner which lift it up and down. I was going to say, because you'd need, you need about three. a dozen Weetabix to yeah. get this up, I think. We would. Um, it's a fair size, but housed under here, we've got the FPT Cursor 16, so the 15.9 litre engine. Yeah. Um, knocking out about 3,360 Newton metres of, of torque. These are just uh, um, proper figures, aren't they? Big figures. <laughs> um, we're, we're, what are we, 23% up on the on the previous 620 yeah. quad track, so it's... And that it's, was no slouch. That was no slouch, so it's some serious uh, increase in power. The reason, possibly, that it's so big, apart from the engine, I mean, the, the intercoolers, as you can imagine, yeah. um, the two-stage turbochargers, everything has been increased in size. That's fairly it. dramatically. You can just see what the um, curling pack is yeah. just through there. Just kind of, it's here. Yeah. So this this is all um, just to try and keep things under control uh, under the bonnet. That's it. So, so far, we've seen this 715 model. Obviously, brand new look on it. Will there be more models that get this look as well? Will it filter down the range or what, what's it will. your plans? It will. People always want what you can't have yet, isn't it? <laughs> no, so with this, we're also bringing in some updates for model year 2024, um, which I can point out in a couple of minutes, but that's also going to fall onto our um, lower horsepower model. So the, the 620 turned into the 645. Yeah. Um, the 580 turned into the 595, I think so on and so forth. So, so they've all just of, grown up a little, little bit. A little bit of everything. Um, so yeah, next year, um, once we get into the, the next model years and so on, this facelift will work down. Um, but this this is the, the, the one that we're yeah. putting that out So on eventually to then, with. how many models of quad track will you have? Great question. I want to say six. Yeah. And there will probably be four or five of the wheeled version Steigers as well. Okay. Um, which we don't see so many of. Yeah. Um, certainly in the UK, but Europe, uh, not so much. The exhaust up there, um, perhaps on the previous model, you had a big lump on the back of it. That's right, So yeah. the after treatment system has been significantly reduced. Um, so we've been able to shrink the dimensions of that. So in terms of its actual physical size, you managed to yeah. squeeze it yeah. down a bit. So right. uh, we've also gone to what we're calling a J pipe. So the, 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 the shape of this pipe. So again, sitting in the seat, the visibility was never bad. Stand down here and you think, how could you see anything out of there? But actually yeah. in the seat, there was never an issue. But we have shrunk it down, so things have improved, sort of down to this corner and things as well. Um, so that's another part of it. And in terms, obviously you've got more power, more torque with this 715 model. How have you managed to sort of adapt the, you know, the drivetrain and I suppose all the track system and everything to cope with all that. So on all, all the quads, um, the, the PS6 transmission as we call it, um, that has received some, some updates. 
So um, we like the word beefing up. Um, so the, <laughs> We've the, used it several times, have. I think, yeah. The, uh, Optum 340 in yep. particular. So the, the <laughs> friction plates and uh, the clutch friction plates and things, they've been beefed up. The third output shaft increased as well. Um, more lubrication in the transmission. So that, that applies to all quads of all sizes. This particular one, the tracks have actually been lengthened. So this, you know, whole unit wouldn't yeah. just bolt onto the one below it. No. So, so this the, has uh, a longer footprint on this. It does. It's about 300 mil longer. Right. We get we get an extra lug engaged in the main drive wheel. Yeah. Um, and we get an extra few cleats um, into the soil as well. So right. just help spread um, the weight because this is a little bit heavier than the the. The model below. It's got a little bit more meat on it. <laughs> um, the fuel tank has also uh, increased a little bit. I, th I think it's, it's almost 2,000 litres now, there or right. thereabouts. So um, practically two ton of fuel on board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, all the as axle castings, everything has just been uh, on this particular one model has been made yeah. for this one. That's it, yeah. Um, so transmission wise, obviously all of them can get power shift. Yep. Uh, yes. And then it was up to, I think it was a 540 model, could yep. get a CVT, yep. and CVX that, in your language. That, that remains, so that CVX drive, um, the 545 is still the largest that we can put that transmission right, into. Right, you could take that um, up any further. It's not not at the moment, no. Um, so that's still its limit is about that um, sort of 600 max horsepower right. um, with that transmission. There we go. So as well as powertrain, drivetrain, you know, track units, all that lot getting beefed up. Have you done anything else to, I don't know, hydraulics, things like that? Um, hydraulics, we, we can go six remotes. We've still got our um, three pumps on there. So we have our standard 160, you have your twin flow 215, um, and then we have our super high flow, which is about 430 litres a minute. 430? Um, so for those guys maybe running huge cedars and fans, yeah. it does the job. You can see here we've got um, six remotes. Um, other thing, perhaps uh, the UK, um, we we like a, a three-point linkage. This this is coming with a Cat Five as standard now. Um, so what we're supplying with it is a Cat Four conversion kit. So rather than uh, a customer taking a Cat Four and then a year down the line there's an implement comes out and he's like, oh, I need to change the entire thing. Yeah. We just have a sort of reduction kit, so it comes okay. with that. Yeah. Um, the the three-point linkage on here, um, we can get maximum power um, in the lowered position, um, whereas we used to have a little bit of a sort of power management when that was the case, but that's, that's all sorted and we are 100% horsepower out of the three-point linkage, <laughs> which is scary. 